Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan and today we're going to look at the Grey Wolf 20 RDSE. Uh, this is a very popular floor plan for a couple's uh, coach and it just comes in right at 4,400 pounds. So you'll see it does come with electric or tongue jack here on the front so you have your extend retract. You also have a light right here that you can hook up after dark with to assist you with that. Also has a dual 20 pound LP tanks with a hard case cover with your easy access lid here at the top. Behind that you'll see it comes with a group 27 battery in box. Uh, this does have the juice pack so you have your battery in box included as well as 100 watts of solar up on the roof. So it does uh, charge your batteries as you travel and as it sits in the driveway. Nice radius front end here on the front. Uh, diamond plate rock guard here at the bottom. Here we have your front storage compartment. You have a lot of nice storage here in the front. It does have a light, lighted basement for you, so that is very convenient when it's dark outside. Manual stabilizer jacks at the four corners, um, and then we have this really cool holographic light that they add now. You'll see it puts a portrays a wolf head down on the ground for you. After dark, that looks really cool. And we'll have another one on the inside that says gray wolf. We'll get to that later. Power awning, uh, you have your integrated blue LED light along the awning. You can also adjust the pitch of the awning on each end. So if you've got a light rain or whatever, you can uh, drop one in so the water can run off. Uh, assist grab handle at your entry door. You have your stable step at the entry door. So the nice thing of this is it sits on the ground. And so as you go in and out, it doesn't rock the camper like the uh, old steps did in the past. You also have a friction hinge door, so we do not have the latches like we've had in the past. So you open it and it stays right there where it's at. And then you'll have the full screen door as well. Outside entertainment center, you have your blue speakers on the outside. The TV bracket's going to be just like the one on the inside. So if you like to take the TV from the inside, slide it in out here, that can be done. Aluminum rims, radial tires. Um, I do have the center cap removed so you can see it's an easy lube axle as well as self-adjusting brakes. And then you also have the tire pressure monitors. It has the number 65 on the end so you don't have to look for the fine print on the tire. And I'm gonna demonstrate how this works so you can do a visual walk around. And if you see red on the stem, that means your tire pressure is low. You probably should add air to the tire. Uh, we have the leash latch back here, so it is pet friendly if you'd like to take your pets along. Uh, here in the back we have your travel rack. So this does come with your spare tire mounted on there for you. Uh, you can flip that down and put totes or whatever you want on the back there. Up at the top you see it comes with a backup camera. And then over here in the corner is uh, a prep for ladder. So there's like a telescoping ladder that you can purchase that hooks into that so you can get up on the roof to maintenance the roof for you. Over on this side is your hookup station. So we have your 30 amp connection here. It does come with a detachable uh, 30 amp cord. So that is up in the front storage compartment. The nice thing with that is you're not pulling the cord out and pushing it back in and getting tied up, hung up, and taken away from storage on the inside. Outside porch light on this side. So if you're hooking up after dark or taking down, uh, outside shower with your hot and cold black tank flush so after you dump your black tank if you want to rinse that out you can do that through this port and then you have your cable and satellite hook up here below the shower is your fresh water and city water connection your city water is where you would hook up at a campground and that for your water supply and in your fresh water you would fill your fresh water holding tank on board if you're dry camping turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water supply. And then you'll have your dump station down below. You'll see the gray handle, black handle, black handle being for the black tank, which is your toilet. Gray handle being for your gray tank, which is like your kitchen sink and shower. And then last but not least, you have your uh, on-demand water heater. So the nice thing of this, it's only heating when you're using hot water. So they're 60% more efficient than what we had in the past. And those are gas only. I believe that concludes the outside of the Grey Wolf 20 RDSE, and now we'll move to the inside. So we move to the inside, you'll see you have a nice wide step here, and then right inside your entry door, if you turn out the lights uh, after dark, you can see the, the Grey Wolf um, here on the 
the tile shining down from the ceiling above. We have your bed in the front, your bathroom here in the middle, your dinette in the back, and then your kitchen as well would be in the center. We're gonna go ahead and get started on the overhead cabinet here on the end. This is your control panel. Your water heater uh, switch would be right here, and then your control board would be here to the left. That shows your levels of your tanks, uh, your interior, exterior light switches, and then your awning retract and extend. I'm gonna back up a little bit here. There you can see the is your holographic light that shines down and uh, shows your Gray Wolf logo on the lino. In your kitchen cabinet, you do have the high-rise pull-out kitchen faucet. Also gives you a sink cover, giving you more countertop space when you're not using your sink. That is your single bowl farmhouse style sink. In the base cabinet, you have a bank of two drawers and some cabinet storage. And then your furnace down below the stove. Uh, you got your oven down below. And then you have your stove top at the top. This has a bifold cover, again, giving you more countertop space when not using it. That folds back, also serves as a splash guard, and that is a three burner stove top. Um, we're going to move back up at the top. Your microwave is in the overhead cabinet. You have glass inserted cabinet doors. Some more overhead cabinets above the dinette area. This is where your stereo is located and your entertainment center. So there's your TV bracket and connections as well as a shelf here. In the back is your, a nice large booth style dinette. You also have storage underneath your seats and the table does collapse down. You slide the cushions together, so if you want to take a grandkid or two along, uh, you could easily do that. Overhead storage on each side of the dinette. And then I'm gonna swing around over here. Across from the kitchen is your pantry and refrigerator. It's the pantry, nice large pantry, lots of storage. Uh, so you can take along a lot of food which is really nice. And then the refrigerator. I love the refrigerator in this one. Uh, this is a 12 volt refrigerator. It's much larger, it gives it the residential feel. Um, it's 11 cubic foot instead of the eight. And you'll notice the inside will hold a lot more food than the ones we've used in the past. And they cool much more efficient. Thermostat, this is what operates your furnace and your air conditioner. So we're going to move back down in, in the bottom of the refrigerator. Right here is your battery voltage meter so you can see what level your battery is. And you also have a battery disconnect switch down there as well. So if you put the camper in storage, you can disconnect the battery so it doesn't drain from the ghost lights inside the camper. Moving up into the bathroom area, you have a toilet that gives you the leg room that you're looking for here have a vanity <clears throat> with storage underneath, nice large bathroom sink, uh, medicine cabinet up here at the top, a lot of nice storage, and your large bath fan in here as well. Right here is your control board for your water heater, so that's how you adjust the temperature, and then you can turn it um, off and on there as well. Your shower, nice like a shower pan style, so a lot of room inside your shower. And it does have a skylight at the top. Moving on up to the bedroom area, which will be the last part to show you. Uh, this is the, got the uh, wardrobe on each side of the bed. So you got your his and hers. You also have your overhead cabinets. So a lot of nice storage up front. And then you'll have a 12 volt and 110 outlet on each side of the bed as well. You can also lift the bed here at the foot. There's storage underneath. And then you also have a privacy curtain if needed. So I believe that concludes the inside of the 20 RDSE by Gray Wolf. Show you one, one more time around. We are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself, Jeremy or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.